it is a lot about mathematics um, when it comes to doing vocal harmonies. Um, it's the same principles that you use in, in understanding chords or what you use to understand harmonies. And it's all, it's a lot of numbers, you know. But luckily, they're all very simple numbers. So they can, <laughs> you know, they're, they're all numbers under 13. So you only need to be able to count up to 13. But, 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 but it's, you know, it's, it, that step, the technical part of it is something that I've always understood. So I've always had the ability to understand the way harmonies worked. But it wasn't until we finished touring for Californication that I started really thinking about harmonies all the time. It's like I did some on Californication because Rick wanted me to, and it was a simple matter of logic for me to understand how to to put a few harmonies on a song. But as far as how to make up harmonies to a melody and how to, and how to create the big sort of choir feelings, that's something that it, it took this kind of studying to be able to do it the way I did it on a new record. Yeah, so I, I was listening, you know, aside from the obvious things like the Beatles and the Beach Boys and the doo-wop from the 50s and the, and the Phil Spector recordings and things like that, um, there's also, you know, so many records, there's so many records with harmonies on them that you can, that there is to learn from where it's not such an obvious thing like, like you know, like David Bowie records or, um, well... There, you know, I, I mean, I actually was listening to a lot of the obvious things that were probably the most... You know, <laughs> but maybe that's good for learning, like that. sort of. Well, yeah, for learning, those are the people you want to listen to, is like Freddie Mercury and people like that. Another st very stunning thing when I listened to the record was um, that I actually thought of you because there were so many different guitar styles on this record. Yeah. It must have been massive fun for you to record this record. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was fun to sort of... To sort of to sort of think about, you know, what styles of guitar playing that I wanted to combine and stuff and the different kind of guitar players that I wanted to be influential on me and the ones I didn't want to be influential on me. And that okay. Kind of thing. For example, the not one? Well, I, I tried to avoid any kind of rock star hero guitar players. Yeah, um, with, with the foot on like the monitor need box. Of new guitar heroes and a new basis for that kind of thing. and. Um, and and I, I, far from putting down people like that, like I love those people so much that I'd be happy to just go the rest of my life imitating Jimmy Page, but I don't feel like it's the most musically or historically constructive things to do. Yeah. So instead, I've, I've chosen to stay away from doing riffs and runs and things like this and and the traditional sort of rock star-ish solos and try to try to come at it from a fresh perspective and from a new place. And um, and you know some some of uh, some of the so so you know some of the people that I was learning from m most of the guitar players that I was learning from it had more to do with their style of playing chords than it had to do with their styles of playing melodies. Yeah. Um, Although there's still a lot of people that I like playing the melodies. Did you want to hear about that, or did you just want to know the people I didn't want to play with? I, I was only interested in the people I didn't want, <laughs> uh, you didn't want, I mean. Um, can you sort of somehow tell if your uh, solo work gets your head free for the Chili Peppers? Um, well, it's, it's, it's important for me to, to, to have all my music from different perspectives, you know. Um, like, like... Like, uh, I, I write, the songs I write in the Chili Peppers, it's a, it's a big process to sort of put them together, you know, and, and uh, a lot of forethought goes into it because I'm thinking about what I want the album to sound like as a whole, and then I deal with these little individual pieces of it as, as songs, and it's really, you know, this album has been almost a year and a half of, of my life has just gone into this, this album, and... So when it's my so when it's my solo stuff, it it's stuff that I'm I'm that's coming out more freely and more naturally, and where the music is more kind of dictating where I go rather than I'm dictating where I want the music to go. Okay. You know, uh, with my solo stuff, it's more like I'm the songs start coming to me, and I start to see, oh wow, these songs fit together, and these songs fit together, and these songs fit fit together, and then I break them into separate categories, like at the